today we have a special guest. It's a friend, Romain, from France. Uh, he is a DJ and also he has a really interesting project. Now we're gonna talk about it with him. Thank yeah. you for, for having me on Mirando del Mundo. <laughs> Was it right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, a good try. Cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm Roman, I'm 31 from, from France. I've been traveling in Asia for the last eight months. That's how we, we met in, here in Kampot, Cambodia. But yeah, I love electronic music, of course, but before that I was like studied business and management. First, yeah, my relationship with, um, with the beats uh, as a DJ started really with the computer. Okay, yeah, exactly. But now we can like design new pictures, new, new sounds, create a new culture thanks to like, yeah, this, this camera, yeah. my computer, All I mean, devices. changing how we, yeah, we behave and interact now. So I'm, I'm full of hope about like how it can like help people to understand better themselves and stop like repeating the error of the past. But at the moment we still have a situation with a, like more the industrial approach on like um, informatics and uh, information technologies and it's bad for like most uh, most of children now it's bad for health because of the extraction of the, the materials for, to make yeah. computers and in the end it also like pollute because we don't know how to recycle them yeah, exactly. uh, there's like something is missing in the in the whole process it's not logical because we <laughs> it doesn't make sense right because there's like a lot of old computers uh -huh. we consider them as waste but still, they are like the CPUs, the hard drive is like this. These computers are more powerful than the one that sent people on, on the moon. Huh? But still we are stuck to um, like Word or Excel, like some old, I would say old school work, uh -huh. right? Uh, we, I think we miss some like creativity or inspiration to use like computer in a different way. Internet, of course, brings something like super huge, huge transformative for me. That's one of the yeah, best things that are on earth now. And that's, we based Jerry Do It together, of course, on the, like this peer-to-peer -peer approach, the fact that everybody is connected thanks to internet, and we are able to share all the knowledge that we want. And that's historical. I mean, the first time in our human history that we can do that. So we use that potential with, uh, so Jerry Do It together. Yeah, how um, does it work? Explain us about Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the concept is really simple, right? We are all like used to see a computer like, like this now, but uh -huh. just before that, we know like this big black box. We all yeah. have it in our homes, so it's a, yeah, it's a it's a black box, right? So we we don't know how to open it, and we don't know usually what's exactly inside. So yeah. Jerry, Jerry, it's the same thing that you've got like in your in your old school computer, uh -huh. and Jerry. So we we put the three main components to so the the motherboard uh -huh. with the CPU to make the calculation, the hard drive for for the memory, and the power supplies. These are the three basic things that you need to make an infrastructure uh, computer working or a server so by changing like the shape of the of the computer we put the computer in a jerry can right and this idea is as simple as powerful because it enables people to like create new computers out of old computers it was possible before but not so inviting you needed a lot of work with a jerry can it's already like an object that is designed to host uh, to protect uh, water or fuel so it's something precious right it's not something that we want to waste mm -hmm. so the jerry can by itself is already like a proper shape a proper case for the for the electronics but it's not only like about electronics it's more about like how can we like as a team so we we said do it together because at the beginning it was jerry the diy server or diy computer but in the end nobody is like clever or creative enough to make like this kind of complex product like just on its, on its own, it's a, it has to be like a, a teamwork. Uh -huh. That's why we, we changed the name to Jerry DIY to do it together. Because to, um, to make a Jerry computer, first you need to identify like a local need. This computer is not made for like personal use. Emabuntu, e Emabuntu, they are like our most inspiring li uh, Linux partner. Uh -huh. So because Jerry is like open source based on free software, and the idea is, is to like to enable people just to make. The, the hardware of the computer and then to make this computer work you have to install um, the operating system, the mm -hmm. software and this one uh, that works really well it's called Emabuntu and it was designed to like to make uh, electro uh, old computers work well and you can really have like 20 years old computer working perfectly, perfectly. thanks Whoa. to this software so it gives a different perspective that this planned obsolescence that we got all our machines at some point are just like going slower and slower and slower and we don't know why 
and there's nothing to do with the um, with the hardware most of the time but just the software by itself is designed to like degenerating at some yeah. point I will tell you about the, the community because Jerry is super important it's not like the, the object it's a community based project huh? so I'm talking now but like hundreds thousands of people already like uh, gather and build their own Jerry Perfect. so how it's the this idea started I mean yeah, yeah. explain us about yeah, it yeah, yeah. it sounds so interesting the idea was not directly from me, it was from uh, Hedera Technology, so Jeremy and Antoine, they were the two founders who, who met in, um, in Africa. Mm -hmm. And they, they had this idea, how can we like make IT infrastructure so more accessible to like countries in Africa, but, uh, because there's no data center there, okay. and there's no server, so you can't like host uh, your own software, your own application. So they, they went back to France and they, they had this idea, this, the, the, the context actually, they worked there and they see what was not working with the traditional model of IT industries in Africa. So they went to the, this design school in Paris, um, NC, Les Ateliers, and they, they met Laure, Xavier and Chensedin, so the three designers of the, of the object, and I was working with Jeremy and Antoine at that time. And, um, and so one of, the, yeah, one of the prototype designed by the, the, the school was Jerry. So it was like the most, uh, I would say, punk okay. <laughs> computer that I've never seen. That I've ever seen. So there was like ten other prototypes, but this one was the most like accessible, the most simple, the most it like to me, uh, yeah, genius. Some point, genius is something like uh, simple also. Uh -huh. And so I got really inspired by that because yeah, I was not like a hardcore geek myself, but yeah, I, I love. Uh, I love internet, I love electronic music, so, and uh, so much other like video games and stuff. I mean, all, all of that is part of our culture now, so and, uh, uh -huh. I said to myself, yeah, if people, are, like, if people know that they can build computers instead of buying them, there's something that would change on Earth. And yeah. I was absolutely convinced of that. things could change with that. If anyone wants to use it, uh, how can we do it? Uh, as a team, uh, it will be easier, but if you go on our website, right, and uh, Facebook page, and we've got some, like, a lot of documentation that were, like, created over the years by contributors from either Europe or Africa, so it can be uh, about how to, like, collect the, um, the old computers at the how to test the components. We've got also, like, tutorials for, like, how, of course, to cut the, the jerry can, right, and attach the components properly. That's so something you can do, so. Online. Yeah, yeah, everything is online, yeah, of course, that's the, the point, is really to enable people to do something by themselves. I have nothing to, I mean, I have nothing to, to, to teach or to say, just like make the things available, tell the stories, give the yeah, inspiration tools, I think that's really the two main thing, because even if you have the tools, right, if I tell you, hey, you are able to do a computer, you can do it, I give you these tutorials, well, you've got something else to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Probably you will choose something different. Yeah, yeah, I mean, life is not about just building computers. I mean, so much other things to do, but I think inspiration is also important. Seeing that other people did it and have fun and it was useful for them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's how I got convinced about doing something. It's not about like you know, a promotion or advertising. Now yeah, I know that all that someone is... Someone tell you. It's exactly, okay. exactly. And you don't need much except like yeah, a group of people, someone that knows how to like assemble. Something. Uh -huh. the hardware and uh, set up a proper software but then uh, you can be like yeah, with uh, with teenagers or old people and everybody exactly. will learn something about perfect them. thank you very much Romain uh, thank you for having me really uh, I think all this project is something for you right and I'm sure we will hear about you in the future thank you yeah, thank you very thank much you. and see you so stay <laughs> bye <laughs>